हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज वसीम खान फ्रॉम पीपल्स प्रोडक्शन एंड टूडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू हाउ टू मेक एन इमेज लाइक दिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ऑल राइट लेट स्टार्ट बाई मेकिंग अ न्यू पेज वी नीड टू प्लेस द इमेजेस एंड क्रिएट अ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर सो आई एम यूजिंग लेयर मास्क इन दिस to blend this image so as i told you before that the things which don't have any specific shape blend easily so then after that i am going to add one more image and try to match the shape of the mountain with the mountain in front then i am going to blend it with the help of layer mask and try to create this cloud like effect over there let's add a castle in it so i need to reduce the opacity so can i can see the background and place it in a perfect position and mask it out then after that i'm going to add one more element in our image and that is a girl so i'm going to crop out with the help of pen tool So the pen tool is the best option to crop out anything from any image. And then after that I need to press control enter and layer mask it. Now it's look like she is floating. So we need to add something so that she can sit on. So I'm going to add a branch and layer mask it i'm using soft edge brush so that it don't create hard edges so let me place the girl in a perfect position so that it looks like she is sitting on that branch i don't like the sleeves on her so i'm going to clone it out So all you need to do is all click on the region that you want to copy and paint it on the region that you want to paste. So all click paint, all click paint, all click paint. So I'm not going to repeat that. I hope you understand it. I don't need this region of this image so I'm going to mask it out with the help of this selection tool and then after that I duplicate the layer and use the liquify tool and try to increase the size of the of her dress and make a selection of it and place it under that layer and try to blend it with the dress After that I'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer so that I can match the highlights and shadows of all the images with the help of curves. And let's change the color. So we need to open color balance and let's increase some blues and cyan in all the images then i need to fix the stress by using clone tool so as i told you all click on the thing that you want to copy and paint it on the region that you want to paste So I'm going to erase her hair because I don't like that sharp edges here. Then after that I'm going to create shadows under her by taking a new layer with a soft touch brush. And create some more shadows under that branch. I'm going to use a black 
gradient to create a dark feel and I'm going to adjust little bit with that curve yeah, it looks good I'm going to adjust the dress of that girl with the help of liquify tool and I'm going to paint it with a black soft edge brush to more darken the image and create some more shadows over there and let's fix this line yeah and now this looks good after that I created a fog with the help of brush and just paint it and reduce some opacity this looks good and one more stroke with blue color so now I'm going to blur the images so that it can give you an illusion of distance I'm going to create some more shadows by linking a new layer on her and paint it with a black soft edge brush And I'm using a brush with the same color of her dress and painting it so that it can get easily blend. I added a lamp in it and place it in a perfect perspective. And after that, I try to match the highlight and shadows of that. Yeah, this looks good. And now what we need to do, we need to match the color. I need to blur a bit because it looks so sharp. After that, I'm going to create a light with the help of a brush. So I'm using different shades of color to create an illusion that the light is spreading. So darker color should be inside and then lighter and then one more. Uh, let's use this a bit and no yeah and let's reduce the opacity so I need to create some highlights on her so I selected layer of that girl and start painting with the soft edge brush also and I'm going to create some more darkness with the help of black brush and let's increase some more fog so I created some lights in that castle with the help of brush and then change the blending mode to overlay I need to add some more shadows on that front so I'm going to paint it with the black soft edge brush by reducing the opacity then add some leaf so I'm going to match the highlights and shadows of that image and create some highlights and shadows with the help of a brush I need to blur it a bit so that it can create some depth all right now I don't like her hair so we need to change that I'm using refine edge tool to crop out these edges let's mask it out and try to merge and I'm going to paint the same color of her hair so that it can get blend easily. Then I have painted with the red color 
on sky and on the river so that it can create an evening look but before that we need to merge all the layers by pressing ctrl shift alt e and let's do some changes in camera raw filter You can change that morning look to evening look by just opening this two layer. So I hope this video is going to help you to create your own photo manipulation. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. And thank you.